Now it's time for another new project. We're going to do some yarn weaving. We're going to make a little pouch. Should be pretty fun. Let's do it. This piece of cardstock is going to be our loom. We're going to make a horizontal line across the top and then create half inch notches. One half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, so on and so forth. Then create those lines. This is going to be where our warp threads go through. Once we have the lines drawn, we can cut just those little slits all the way down to the horizontal line. This will allow us to thread the yarn through these slits in the cardstock. This is where things get a little bit tricky. You go through the first notch and pull the string all the way down and around the bottom of the cardstock. Then you go behind the second notch and come down the front, around the bottom, and up the back side. You then go through that same notch and then wrap around the front side of the third. Pull it down the back, up the front, into the same notch, then behind the fourth. So you kind of alternate going in front of, then behind each time you come back up to the top of the loom. It's kind of tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it should go pretty easily. Once you get all the way to the very end, oops, a little knot there, better hit pause, figure that out. Once you come all the way to the end, you're going to wrap it around the edge of the eighth notch up top. That'll kind of secure your thread in place. Sweet. Good job. Now we're going to use a paper clip to create kind of a needle to thread the weft strings through those warp threads that we just made. So you're going to tie whatever color string you want to use around a paper clip. And no, you don't need to bend out the end like I just had written on the screen. You can just use a standard paper clip. Then you need to pull a bunch of yarn out, like probably five or six arm lengths. You can always add more to it later, but it's good to start with a lot. Take that far end and you're going to tie it in a double knot at the bottom left corner of your loom onto that far string. Slide it all the way down to the bottom if you can and double knot it. This is where we're going to start the weave. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, weaving. This first layer you're going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, so on and so forth till you get to the end. Then pull the yarn all the way through. You don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to make those warp strings crooked. You can always slide them in place if they get kind of crooked. You're then going to flip the cardstock over and continue on. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Make sure that where you start on this back side is the opposite of where you start on the front side. Once you do that, you can straighten out the warp strings, push the weft strings down a little bit, and then flip the cardstock back over and do the opposite of how it was gone through the first time. Under, over, under, over, under, over, so on and so forth. Every time you go around either the front or the back, the layer of yarn should be the opposite of the layer that was before it. Here I'm using a different project to show you how to change strings or just add more of the same color. Cut your paper clip off, take the new yarn, and wrap them both around your finger one time, then pull your finger out of there and tuck the two ends through the hole where your finger was. This is the easiest way to tie two pieces of string together in a good solid knot that won't slip. Make sure they're all tidy, pull them tight, and then you can trim off the loose edges up top. Then take the other end of the new string and double knot it around a paper clip. This is super easy. You can trim off the extra or just leave it. Once you've added new string, you can just continue weaving on. Make sure that if your paper clip gets stuck on something, you always go back and fix it and make sure that no damage was made to the warp strings, which are those vertical strings again. Here's a different project that I've been weaving for quite some time. Now, you're not going to like this, but you can see all those red threads. We need to squish all that yellow yarn down 
so that our bag is woven together nice and tight. You have to do this, otherwise you're going to end up with holes in the bag. You might not like it, but it's necessary. So make sure you do it every once in a while. Have fun with this. Make sure it's a tight weave. See ya!